Packed classrooms and tight budgets may lead one area school to propose a referendum. Leaders at Blackhawk Technical College are currently evaluating whether or not they want to reach out to taxpayers. Margo Spann joins us now on some of the proposed improvements. Margo? Susan and Eric, the school is currently looking at moving its advanced manufacturing program to a building in Milton to give students more space. The president tells me their campuses in Janesville and Monroe desperately need more classroom space. I'm really excited about um, entering the nursing career. Health sciences and manufacturing are two of Black Hawk Technical College's most popular programs. Newlywed and nursing student Jessica Moore is taking advantage of the school's library to stay on top of her studies. I don't have a computer or I don't have stuff necessary that, you know, would help me be successful as I could be in school. It's not so much that we're trying to expand the nursing program as much as we're trying to provide better training space for the ones that we have. President Tom Eckert says the school was designed for about 3,000 students, but their current enrollment is around 5,500. He met with the school's district board earlier this week to discuss possible expansions and improvements to their campuses. We have needs for more general classrooms, for more student space. Uh, we need to do something about our library. There's a number of things that need to, uh, to be addressed. Eckert says the board will determine whether or not to ask taxpayers for a referendum to upgrade the campuses. Students say they'll support a plan to help them stay on the cutting edge in their field. Being in a school that has all the resources that you can get, you know, that'll help anyone, especially someone like me that hasn't been in school in years. More computers, more places to study is also convenient because for me, I can come to the library and get my studying done prior to going home. And when I'm at home, I can just focus on home time. Dr. Eckert says senior staff at the college will begin assessing their space needs and discuss what will be appropriate for a referendum. No date has been set as to when they hope to present their findings to the board. The last referendum was in 2002. Margot Spann in the News Center tonight. Margot, thanks.